Good evening. So we're going to talk a little bit right, right now about total forgiveness in God's kingdom. Total forgiveness. And um, I want you to understand something. That whatever you've done in the past, with, 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 whatever things you've done, remember, once again, you're a spirit and you live in the house. This is your house. Regardless of how you want to put it, this is where you live. This is your overcoat for your spirit because the spirit lives eternally. And you have that option at the present time to live eternal damnation or eternal life. Now, I want to turn to you here. Let's turn to John, the fourth chapter. Here's something I want you to understand. This, is, this conversation came after the woman with Jesus, <sighs> with the woman at the well. And listen to what his disciples say. If you want to find about that, you can read that on your own. Right now, I'm going to get to another point. And this is the 27th verse of the fourth chapter of the Constitution of John. And at this point, his disciples came and they marveled that he talked with a woman. Yet no one said, what do you seek or why are you talking with her? And he goes on to say, the woman then left her water pot and went, and went her way into the city and said to the men, come see, them, come see a man who told me all things that I have ever done, ever did. Could this be the Christ? I want you, for all you brothers out there and who been, did th certain things, you took somebody's life, you whatever it is, um, whatever kind of life you live, um, I want you to know that Christ have died for you. That's the point. He gave his life for you. And if you sincerely, you know, and, and, and that's nobody else's, business, but if you give your life to Christ and you repent and you embrace his message, the kingdom and seeking the kingdom. I, I'm not talking about seeking religion. I'm not talking about seeking to become a Christian. That's garbage. That's another religion. I'm talking about his word. His word is what's going to save you. Not being a Christian. A Christian's a name. You're a child of the king. You're a kingdom citizen. You're not a Christian. You're a saint. Jesus said you're saint, not like the Catholicism say you're, you're saint. And the, I just the other day, I, I, I read where uh, 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 Pope John, I think it was, um, he's going to be known as saint. No. A saint doesn't mean you have to die to be a saint. You, you, you're now the word gives you back up there. You're, you're heirs and joint heirs with him. You don't have to hold a fantastic title. All you have to do is to obey God's word. Obey his word. Read it, study it, meditate on it, pray it, embrace it, and act upon his word. His word, you know, I, I, I tried to, the other day, uh, the other week, I was wondering, Lord, you know, I, I, the kingdom, and, you know, but this is my assignment to tell you that if you obey God's word, he will bring you through. He will lift you up. You won't have to worry about finance. You won't have to worry about healing. You won't have to worry about deliverance. You won't have to worry about love. You won't have to worry. Wealthy, the king will take care of you if you just obey his word. Seek his kingdom. Study that word. Let your heart let your heart embrace what Christ is saying. That's very important. That's the most important thing in your life. I listen to the churches today and they give me a little this, little that. Some of these people remind me, I, they, they show it on Facebook where people are dancing and they look like they they look like a chicken on a hot tin roof. You hit that organ and they playing, they going wild. That's not kingdom. In most cases, it's them acting a fool. God's kingdom is, when, when he said love, you know what love is? Love in the, in the Hebrew word and in, in, in the verb form is action. That's why he said, 
Love your neighbor. And he gave him one that even a little later than that. Love your neighbor as I have loved you. He says, I give you a new commandment that you love your neighbor as I have loved you. You know why he said as I have loved you? Because many of you don't even love yourself. You don't love yourself. Many of you have problems. Many of you right now may be on the verge of, you know, you, 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 you're saying, who loved you? It's about pleasing him. And you know how you please him? By reading his word and obeying his word. Not through all these tradition and rituals and, and, and customs. No. Take the word and read it. Seek him. Talk to him. Like I, you know, hey, when you get alone, talk to the father. Let Father, look, 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 help me to understand your will. And you, what is his will? His word. His word is your will, his will for your life. And through that, you'll find your purpose in life. You know, I'm not going to give you no ritual. This, this is real. Just keep it real. I'm keeping it real with you. If you study God's word and obey him, what Jesus said, he says, those who love me are those who keep my word, who hear it and obey it. Now, if you hear his word and, and keep doing what you're doing, fine. Paul made a statement. He says, for those who keep doing what you're doing and keep doing you, in the first chapter of Romans, he says, God will. He will turn you over to a reprobate mind, a mind that is seared. What is seared? Seared me. You ever did iron on your clothes and you squatched it and it got you couldn't get it off? And no matter, there's no amount of bleach or anything can get that scorch off. Why? It's set there permanently. But if you obey God's word and stand on God's word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If you stand on his word, he will take you through. Regardless, you're going to suffer some things, but Jesus made it plain. Those who suffer with me, you will rule with me. You'll be there. Remember, this planet as we know it is only temporary. Your fiduciary duty is to live a life that others will, God can shine his glory through your life, that heavy presence, hallelujah, that will bring other people to want to know more about the kingdom. Not about how to get rich, not about how to get healed. When you're in the God kingdom and obey his word, healing is already in there. Jesus made a statement, you have not because you don't even ask. Many of you are in conditions where you are. You're too busy with your church. Cut that thing loose. You're Baptist, you're Methodist, you're Presbyterian, you're Church of God in Christ. Why don't you be the saint, the disciple that God called you? You are heirs and join heirs with Christ. Hallelujah. That's what you are. You're not Christians. You're kingdom citizens. Your kingdom citizens in right standing with the almighty God if you live and operate by his word. And, 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 and in the next session, I'm going to let you know that how you do that. Oh, whoa, whoa, what he told a woman at the well. Oh, yeah. He was talking kingdom. He was telling her about his kingdom. Hallelujah. Till next time.